Braxton Family Values. So, like I was saying last week, to me it looks like Tracy backed her ass up on that bush at Trina's wedding. Uh, but we're going to say that she tripped and fell. I, I, I didn't see nothing on the floor as to how she fell. But she said she fell over her pants because they were so long. But okay. That could definitely happen. But So, um, you know, walking, you know, Trina down the aisle. Like I said, Tony had the grand idea of everybody grabbing a piece of Trina's dress, a veil, and, and carrying it, which was silly. Um, to me, they could just let it drag the ground, child, but whatever. Um, so, you know, they uh, ended up, you know, getting married, Vaughn and Trina. It was nice. It did electric slide. But the whole time, there's commotion. Okay, so the daddy had got up there and sung um, Unforgettable. And he forgot the words. It was all key, you know, whatever. The dad can't sing, whatever. So then he asked Tracy to come up there and help him. She didn't know the words like that either. And, you know, it was a moment. So, you know, in the meantime, the sisters are laughing and stuff, making their comments. Because, you know, it's cute that the daddy got up there and wanted to sing to his daughter. But they also know the daddy is not a vocalist. Um, and so, you know, they did their thing, whatever. So Olivia, which is Tracy's son's girlfriend and baby mother... Um, she ended up telling Tracy that they were laughing at you, her sisters. Tracy went off. Tracy went off, and Tracy ended up getting up and going behind the scenes. That's when Tamar ended up coming behind there, um, to change her shoes, and it was just a whole moment, and it was just a whole mess. Um, it takes nothing for Tracy to go there. Um, and in terms of her sisters and stuff because it's already tension there um and it's already a bad blood and bad history there as we all know if we have been if y'all have been watching if yeah if y'all have been watching Braxton Family Values I'm from season one like I have um it's a lot of mess it, it just is I do wish Tracy would have kept it together though that was not the place for all that, all that drama, all that mess, she's talking about, you know, get ready to grab people and beat them up. That was not the place. At least take them outside, you know. <laughs> At least have the respect of taking them outside. I think that out of all her sisters, um, Tracy is probably the closest to Trina, I think. Trina just seems more um, objective, more sympathetic. Um, more willing to understand um, Tracy's side of things but Trina also got that um, follow the crowd spirit as well that if the other sisters feel some kind of way she will definitely follow the crowd but Tracy and Trina um, Trey and Ray um, Tree and Trey uh, 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 Tracy and Trina I like their little duo Trina and Tracy, whatever. Um, they are definitely my favorite Braxton sisters, and um, their their relationship seems to be pretty pretty tight. It seems. Um, so yeah. Um, Trina was getting married, did her thing. It was lovely. Let me see. Um, you know, the other sisters sisters was upset. About the fact that Olivia started. Look, they didn't show the sisters laughing at Tracy. Everybody's saying they wasn't laughing at Tracy. They was laughing at the situation. They was laughing at dad getting up there, you know, trying to sing or whatever. Which, that's their dad. Just like that's Tracy's dad. And just like that's Michael's dad. Michael Jr.'s dad. So, I mean... um. I mean, I can definitely see how it probably looked like they were laughing at Tracy, but I'm going to go on the record and say, even though, you know, um, I'm sure it's a lot of mess and, and they've done a lot to Tracy, I'm sure, um, throughout the years. Um, but I'm going to go on the record and say, I really don't believe that they were laughing at Tracy. I don't. 
I don't. I I do understand why Olivia would think that, judging based on what she was sitting at and how, you know, not being able to hear certain conversations, but just being able to look at somebody and and, and um, come to, um, you know, some kind of conclusion on what they're doing. But um, it still, it didn't need to be said, Olivia. You should have stayed out of it. It's not your business. Um, and, you know, I'm sure Tracy has had many conversations with Olivia about her relationship with her sisters. And you're going to use that moment to say, oh, they were laughing at you. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Um, so, Trina came over to um, chill out with Tawanda for a while before she go on her honeymoon. Um, and Tawanda basically explained the whole situation to Trina about what happened. Um, you know, about what Olivia said and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, Trina was like, you know, Tracy has been, or is, throughout the years, have been very sensitive and stuff about her voice and all that. Um, you know, which does make sense. Uh, and, you know, it, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of history there. It's a lot. Um, she was not singing for a long, long time like the other sisters was. So, vocally, probably, and um, just as a person working, as a working singer, um, there's a lot of development that needed to happen that probably didn't happen um so you know it's it's understandable it is um but in that moment me just assuming as an outsider looking in I don't think that Tracy was upset about the the way her voice sounded she was upset because she thought that her sisters was laughing at her um because it's already she's already emotional by her niece. Ugh, on my nose, y'all. She's already emotional by her niece, their niece that nobody's talking about but Tracy. But you know I'm gonna let that go. Um and you know she's already in her feelings about stuff and you know alcohol only intensifies whatever you're feeling. So um it's a lot. It's a lot that Tracy's definitely going through. Um, but, is this the first time I'm sure that, I, like I said, I don't think they were laughing at Tracy. I just don't. Um, but do I think they have in the past? Sure. Do I think they've done similar stuff in the past? Sure. Because it does. It, otherwise it doesn't make sense for somebody to get that mad if this is not something that has been bothering them for a while. Or something similar. It was already bad blood there is what I'm trying to say. Um, Tracy had um, a little lunch date with her dad and her brother. You know, it was, um, Lauren was um, Mikey's, their brother, um, daughter. And, um, you know, him as a parent losing a child, I can only imagine what he's feeling. Um, but Tracy was like her second mom and she don't really talk to her brother like that anymore because, um, I guess it just brings up feelings and, you know, she probably feels weird and feel awkward because as much as she loves Lauren, that's his actual child. So just imagine what he's going through as the father, you know, she's feeling all this hurt and she had all this love for Lauren and she was her aunt. Um, but you know, blood don't make people no, um, closer or, you know, not closer, and, you know, so they suggested that Tracy talk to a therapist. She went to go talk to a therapist. Uh, it's really hard to look at, really hard to get through. Tracy's really, really hurting. Um, she's mainly upset about her niece passing. Um, but the, the sister's drama added on top of that. Of just years and years of hurt from that. It was a lot. And it just all came out. Um, in that moment. Um, 
Yeah, but it's better out you crying about it than you handling it in another kind of way where it could go left. So just crying on out and beat up a punching bag and all that kind of stuff. And you have to get all that out of you because otherwise you're going to go crazy on somebody one day. Allegedly, she done grabbed Tamar this season, but we going to see. Um, so that happened. Um, and you know we're praying we're praying for Tracy here. <clears throat> Hopefully she can get all the healing and and all that she needs. My God, it's years and years of pain. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, and hell, she might have to just let them go at some point. But like I said, I don't know why they're still doing the show. I genuinely don't. But you know. I got I guess got everybody gotta make money. Um there was a scene with Vaughn, Trina, and Miss Evelyn. Miss Evelyn, you know, she was staying by herself and you know it's COVID and quarantine and all that. So um Trina and Vaughn decided to invite Miss Evelyn over to stay with them. She stays downstairs, she has her own everything. And so, um, you know, they're down there that they're, they're chilling and that was nice that um, they invited Miss E to stay with them. She don't need to be by herself for sure in case any, something happens. Um, let me see. Anything else happen? No. Um, besides, oh, they started talking about the COVID and Tamar and Tony were online speaking about it. And, you know, Tamar was telling Tony about um how difficult the online learning and all that is you have to be a teacher and all that kind of stuff um and you know tony's boys are older she's talking about how she's teaching them how to cook and all that um tracy had a scene with her husband he works in a clinic and he's an essential worker so you know he was talking about all the gear and stuff that he had to wear um to go into the building and and while being in the building and all that. So that's definitely something that we can all relate to right now for sure. Um So the last thing was they had got the phone call about Tamar. Um alleged attempt at suicide. I don't want to say alleged like in a bad way, but you know, just say allegedly just for legal reasons, child. Um, even though, you know, she said it out of her own mouth, but still. Um, everybody's reaction was super sad, especially Miss Evelyn's. Um, obviously, to this day, she's doing well. She's doing better. And, you know, that's good. But um, everybody, you know, is just praying for Tamar and all that kind of stuff. It's just... Sometimes with these reality stars, you know, it's it's hard to fully 100% accept and believe certain things. Um, and I, I don't know if you really cared about the talent. Why are you still running the show? Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't. There's a lot of questions there, but we're going to let it go. I think that was it. I think that was the episode. Yes. If I left something out, put it, put it in the comment section below. Uh, but that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Excuse World on Instagram and Twitter. At Excuse World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'm going to bed, y'all. I'll see you guys later.